Hey there, fellow Succession fans. Welcome back to our channel, Streaming Addicts, where we bring you the latest theories, predictions, and endings explained for all your favorite TV shows. Today, we're diving deep into the Season 4, Episode 5 of Succession, titled Kill List, and we'll be breaking down the shocking ending that left us all on the edge of our seats. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, be warned, there are spoilers ahead. Welcome to Streaming Addicts, your go-to source for all things TV and movie related. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest news, reviews, and analysis of your favorite shows and films. From the hottest new releases to classic favorites, we cover it all. Whether you're a diehard fan or just looking for something new to watch, our team of dedicated experts has got you covered. We'll guide you through the twists and turns of your favorite shows, break down the endings, and explore the deeper themes and hidden meanings behind your favorite films. So sit back, relax, and get ready to dive into the world of streaming entertainment with us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. I died yesterday. It was a couple of days ago, so... You don't have anywhere to go, I think, as you watch with Matt. In the latest episode of Succession, titled Kill List, the Roy family's power struggles continue as the siblings navigate negotiations with the wealthy media conglomerate Madsen. While Kendall and Roman try to follow in their father's footsteps and maintain control over their family's empire, their attempts to mimic his behavior and decision-making ultimately prove ineffective. As the negotiations continue, Kendall and Roman's attempts to emulate their father's leadership style become more pronounced, with Kendall even dressing in a similar outfit to his father's signature attire. However, their lack of experience and conviction ultimately undermine their efforts as they struggle to maintain control over the situation. Roman, in particular, reveals his true feelings about the negotiations when he confesses that he hates Lucas, the man representing Madsen. As the episode progresses, tensions rise and the power dynamics between the Roy family and Madsen become increasingly complicated. The audience is left on the edge of their seats as the negotiations reach a crucial point and Madsen makes an unexpected demand. A photo of both Roman and Kendall's faces. The move is seen as a power play by Madsen and the audience is left wondering what his true intentions are. Roman's behavior in particular is erratic and unpredictable as he struggles to cope with personal issues while navigating high-stakes negotiations. He becomes increasingly frustrated with Lucas, a key player in the Madsen negotiations, and admits that he hates him. This outburst reveals a vulnerability and emotional turmoil that contrasts with his usual cool and collected demeanor. It also hints at the possibility of Roman becoming a more unpredictable force in the family's power struggles. Kendall, meanwhile, is determined to maintain control over the family business and remain head of Waystar. He wants to tank the deal with Madsen in order to keep the company, but his plans are complicated by Madsen's interest in acquiring ATN, which was initially carved out of the deal. Kendall and Roman feel that Madsen's interest in ATN is a red flag and that he will ultimately burn it to the ground, unintentionally sabotaging Waystar in the process. Despite their best efforts to mimic their father's behavior, Kendall and Roman are ultimately unable to seal the deal with Madsen. Their emotional baggage and personal issues prevent them from being effective negotiators and they ultimately choose to back out of the deal completely. While they believe that what they are doing is best for their family's business, their actions could have serious consequences for the future of Waystar. Succession has always been known for its portrayal of complex and flawed characters and this episode is no exception. The Roy family members are shown to have their own demons and personal struggles despite their immense wealth and power. Kendall's determination to hold onto the company and his fear of losing control are symptoms of his deeper psychological issues including his addiction and ongoing guilt over the death of a Waystar employee. Roman's hatred towards Lucas and his inability to connect with others highlights his insecurities and emotional detachment and Shiv's involvement in the negotiations raises questions about her loyalties and true intentions, revealing a complex and conflicted character. By portraying these characters as flawed and vulnerable, Succession humanizes them and makes them more relatable to the audience. It also adds depth and complexity to the show's exploration of power dynamics and family relationships, showcasing the interplay between personal struggles and professional ambitions. The episode shows that even the most successful and powerful people can be plagued by personal problems and insecurities, reminding us that no one is truly immune to the challenges of life. 
In the closing scene of the episode, Madsen offers a deal that seems too good to be true. He agrees to a buyout of Waystar Royco at a valuation that is much higher than what the siblings had expected. But there is a catch. He wants a photo of both Roman and Kendall's faces. This move is clearly a power play on Madsen's part, as he knows that the brothers are reluctant to accept the deal and want to keep control of the company. By forcing them into a difficult situation, Madsen is hoping to get the last laugh. Shiv's involvement in the deal also raises some questions about her true intentions. Throughout the episode, she has taken a back seat, but in the final moments, we see her sending the photo to Madsen. This move appears to be a calculated one, and it is unclear whether she is helping Madsen or whether she has her own plans for Waystar Royco. Some viewers have speculated that Shiv may be using the situation to her advantage in positioning herself for a power play of her own. The scene also highlights the continuing power struggle between the siblings as they try to navigate their father's legacy and maintain control of the family business. While Kendall and Roman are the designated successors, they lack the conviction and natural talent of their father, and they struggle to emulate his style. Shiv, on the other hand, appears to be biding her time and waiting for the right moment to make her move. In conclusion, the fifth episode of Succession's fourth season delivers a captivating and thought-provoking exploration of power, money, and family dynamics. The characters' personal struggles and emotional turmoil provide a humanizing element to the cutthroat business dealings and power plays, making them relatable and engaging to audiences. The episode's title, Kill List, serves as a metaphor for the characters' desire to eliminate their enemies and maintain control over their business empire. However, as we see throughout the episode, things are never that simple, and even the most calculated plans can unravel in an unexpected ways. The episode's ending leaves us with many questions and speculations about what's to come. Will the siblings accept Madsen's deal, or will they stick to their guns and try to maintain control over Waystar? What are Shiv's true intentions, and how will her actions affect the family's power dynamic? One thing is for sure, Succession continues to deliver compelling storytelling and complex characters that keep viewers engaged and invested in the story. The show's exploration of wealth, power, and family dynamics feels timely and relevant in today's world, making it all the more engaging to watch. As the season progresses, it's clear that the stakes will only continue to rise and tensions will continue to escalate. Succession is a must-watch for anyone who loves a good drama and we can't wait to see what happens next in this enthralling story of power, money, and family. Thank you for joining us today for our breakdown of the ending of Succession Season 4, Episode 5. We hope you found our analysis and insights informative and entertaining. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. At Streaming Addicts, we pride ourselves on delivering the latest and greatest in TV and movie analysis from endings explained to character breakdowns and everything in between. We're passionate about bringing you the best possible content and we're always on the lookout for new shows and movies to cover. So if you have any suggestions or requests, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments or on our social media channels. We're always listening and we love hearing from our viewers. Once again, thank you for tuning in today. We can't wait to share more with you in the future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Until next time, keep on streaming. You took the bait, fattened for the kill. Thanks for coming out. No, it's not ideal. The checkout during the sale and getting asked to pay more. It's an episode of lots of... I think we've tanked the whole deal. Kill it. Blow it up.